Hi, Beauty Diva fans and everybody out there in YouTube and Facebook world. How are you guys doing today? I'm Lucinda Kerrigan, and I have been doing beauty blogging and vlogging, making these videos. Sorry, my hair's a little messed up. I just brushed it. Thought I had it fixed. Been doing this over two years now. And today, my video is another unboxing. I have two um, things I'm going to show you. So this is kind of going to be a shorter video because there's not much to unbox. Okay. Um, one is just a pair of pants I ordered from ThreadUp because the other pair didn't work out. If you've been following my channel, you saw that huge thread up order of the eight shirts and the pair of pants. And if you remember the other pair of pants fit like leggings, sorry, my shirt is messing up, fit like leggings instead of dress pants. My other job is a resume writer. That's mainly what I do. Um, not for a living, but is my main side hustle. And so this is the pair that hopefully will fit and will work out. Otherwise, I'll be honest. I had I hesitated. I ordered three more dress pants to try on through Amazon. I ordered them last night because I've been having some success with the Amazon try before you buy. I recently got three tops and a pair of jeans from Amazon. So been happy with Amazon and the eight shirts, only one of them doesn't fit exactly right from thread up. It's like a little short. So this is just arrived not even an hour ago and I'm anxious to um, open it. And so I'll have to make a second clip to try them on and show you guys. And the other thing that I'm going to show you, I know this is not a beauty item. Forgive me for this is my Petco order. My Petco order. See, it's just in a Petco box. I made a Petco order using Klarna because I needed a few things. I needed a cat carrier because my cat, baby kitty, the female mama cat that just gave birth last September. And the kittens have already probably been adopted. We took them to a rescue place that took, takes very good care of their animals. And I like to donate to them. They're the right way rescue in Murfreesboro, Illinois. So, sorry, I have the sniffles today. It's really cold outside here in Carbondale. So, in the store, I guess they did have one, but they didn't sell it to me online. They said they had to ship it to me. It's just a metal litter, litter scoop. Now, this is going to sound really funny why I had to order this, a metal one. And I wanted one with a grip handle. They have another one without the grip panel. But if I'm going to use a metal scoop, it better have a grip handle on it. Okay. The last time I cleaned the box was a few days ago. I should be cleaning it every day. I know what you're going to say. And I used to. But I found that I was going through more litter doing it every day. So I've been doing it every other day. And so a few days ago, I cleaned out the box. It was terrible. I don't know how it got that bad. Um, we do have two cats. So anyway, the plastic scoop, if you wait a second, I'll show you. The plastic scoop I've had, I'm going to still keep it as a backup. But it's dirty because I haven't washed it yet from the other day. So bear with me. See this plastic bending right here? Um, it was so saturated with urine, the litter, that... I couldn't get the scoop to penetrate to the bottom of the box to clean it out all the way. So I got frustrated and I said I need a C in Petco, not Walmart because I'm not trusting too much from Walmart right now. Just the quality of stuff from Walmart. Um, I was... I said, I got to get the big boy or big girl thing out. Um, I said, I need to order a metal scoop, something stronger or more sturdy that will last longer than this plastic one 
that almost broke on me a few days ago and it's got the black grip handle so after I make this video guess what my job is gonna be cleaning out the box for the first time with that new metal scoop and just for the animal lovers out there because I know a lot of you guys are probably not just beauty lovers but animal lovers price on that metal scoop was only eleven dollars and fifty six cents it's fifty six cents can I talk today oh my gosh eleven dollars and fifty six cents and they break the order down into four easy payments so and what else did I order oh the carrier I'll show you the carrier the Sherpa carrier that came um, this was available at the store hold on guys I'll put the lit litter scoop back in the box this is the try to get it hold on guys hold on this is the pet carrier that was available for pickup at the store the next day how does this go okay this is the bottom part this is it's got a mat inside of it if you can see it it's got a um, mat that the cat would lay on inside of it I think it's cool this was $39.99 and the, yes I had to pay tax of course so I don't know my order I think was around 50 because I had a $5 um, pals rewards redemption that took off some money so my total was only fifty dollars and some change so i don't know how to clip this on here figure that out so my payments was only around going to be around ten eleven dollars so that's not too terribly bad see there's a clip on here guys and i'm not sure how you get that open i'll have to ask my husband to show me how to get that open and then this part snaps on like this and this is my first time really messing with this guys we've had it a few days but I've just had it in the bathroom I didn't pay much attention to it and that's how the handle works um her appointment is on the 20th of January so pretty soon she's getting spayed She's getting spayed. And then the male cat is going to be neutered probably by next month. We're doing them different times because it's a lot of hassle to take your cat into a place. And we don't have a vehicle. We have to rely on a friend. But at least I got the cat cured. Now, sorry, guys. My shirt keeps messing up today. Um, okay. The next thing, of course, is the thread up order. Sorry that I had already gotten chatty and talked about other things like the pet coat order I'm gonna open this trip real quick so how's your guys day going I keep forgetting to ask that at the beginning I have had my housekeeper here today she comes every couple weeks or so whenever whenever we need her she she will come and help us so the room is nice and clean it even smells a heck of a lot better in here. Uh, open here. Use the self seal strips to make it return. Open here. I'm trying to figure out, guys, how to open this without messing it up. Okay. You be careful when you open this because if you have to return the item, you have to use it. There's a strip along the bottom. It's a perforated strip that you have to open it by. And I thought I had to tear this part. And I hope I didn't damage the bag because I almost started opening this at the wrong spot. You know what? A little packing tape would fix that if I have to re return this. And they always tissue paper everything I'm pulling the bundle out right now look at that selling deals the sticker says sealing deals since 2009 and hashtag secondhand first 
See, they're polka dotted theme. I love it, love it, love it. So, if you love thread up, leave a comment and tell me what you think of thread up. Do you think they're good deals, or do you think it's a waste of your time and money trying on secondhand clothes that most likely won't fit more than will fit? Um, it helps the environment, I think, because of all the carbon emissions. Reuse, recycle, and that's why I love secondhand. Oh, let's see these pants. And then look at them right now real quick. Look at these, honey. My husband just walked in. This is the pair of pants. Not bad looking. 16 petite. Um, Like I said, guys, if they don't fit, I have just ordered last night. Three pairs to try from Amazon. They didn't have a 16 in the Alfred Dunners, only a 14 and 18, and they're stretch on pants that are stretch stretch band. Um, and then there was another pair that I have previously tried on that were too tight and sized up to a 16. So I'm getting those three probably next week, probably next Thursday. Well, not sure if these are going to fit. The waist looks kind of small, but I have lost a lot of weight. Um, this is by a brand called East 5th Street or East 5th Petite, which is good because I am a short lady. I'm only 5 foot 4. Um, they might fit. 16 Petite. And made in Guatemala. Looking for like what the material is. I love the material. Oh, the price of this. This was used with the credit from the return of the other pants. So it's usually like $13.99, but they had like a sale going on that day. A New Year's sale. I bought it around New Year's Day or the day after. So I got 20% off. So this was only $11.99. And my credit was taken off so all I had to pay was really the shipping for this which was $5.99 plus a little bit of tax and my husband helped me with that because I was like broke for a short period of time for a few days until a few of my resume clients paid me so he VMO'd me and I was able to pay thread up using VMO. You can pay VMO using thread up now and that's pretty cool. I love Vimo. And this is my QR code stand for Vimo. I have a business account um, for my resume company for, with them, not just personal account. But I, I had used my personal account too. Sorry, guys, my hair is pretty messed up right here. So I had paid, he Vimo'd me $7. So I paid third up the $6.15 using my Vimo account. So if I need a return um, and want it back to my payment method, I guess it would go back to my VMO account. Um, hopefully they fit. I'm going to try these on real quick and make another clip in a few minutes telling you, showing you the pants that they fit. If they don't fit, then I'll let you know that as well. So hang tight. See you in a few seconds. Video magic. Okay, guys. Sorry, my nose was running a little bit for a second there. I just put the pants on. I got bad news. They are a little too tight. Um, I barely could get them buttoned up. But I'll roll, show, pull up my shirt. Show you guys. I'll have to move the chair so you can see better because... I live in a tight space here. If I don't move the chair, then you won't be able to see this. Okay, so this is the pants. Um, I feel like... Hold up my shirt a little bit. So you can see. It, it fits, mostly. This is the back. This is the sides. It's just a little too tight. And I don't know what can be done about it. I'm still losing weight. But I don't want to keep these. It, since they don't really fit. It's way too tight. And 
it's not during that time of the month where I'm bloated. So I'm skinnier right now than I will be later in the month when I have my monthly is what I'm saying. So let me try sitting down with them on. I haven't done that yet. And we're going to see. Okay. Oh, no way. There, There is no way. Look at this. It's like I'm all stomach. When I sit down, it's just, there's no stretch. There's no give to it. Guys, there's no stretch. There's no give to it. I was telling my husband here. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm disappointed. I know you helped me pay for this, and I appreciate it. I can either ask for a refund, Lloyd, back to, I think I can do either the original payment method or get it as a store credit again. But there's probably a restocking fee like there was before. Guys, a restocking fee does happen um, on most of the occasions when you return something and it's like $1.99. As soon as you take it to the post office and they scan it, does take about an hour after they scan it because that's what happened last time you receive the credit so this is no so I will even send them back their lovely tissue paper I'm gonna wait for the pants from Amazon because this thread up thing is starting to get kind of crazy you know Lloyd the pants not fitting I guess guys when you order from thread up if you're normally a 16 like I am, order an 18. Order a size up because their stuff is running small. It's like someone had shrunk these pants, Lloyd. Because 16s normally fit me, right, hon? It's like someone shrunk these and they fit like a 12 or 14. They are super tight. I'm going to let you guys go because I have to work on getting these pants back in the bag right away. Well, we will probably Lloyd have to print another packing slip at Staples and a mailing label and do like before, right? Yeah. We'll have to, we just returned the other pair. So that's why I am so disappointed because this pair was to replace the pair that I just had to send back. I went up back on there and I found something I thought that would fit better. They showed the inches around the waist, and I can even pull it up on my phone real quick. I was doing something else earlier, but go to count my orders. At least this one's returnable. Um, flared leg cut. Okay, it's kind of flared. Measurements, 24.5 inch inseam. It's the right length. I will give it to him for that. But when I saw the waist was bigger than the other pair, I thought they would fit, but they still don't. 41.5 inch waist and 14 inch rise. So this time, Lloyd, if I order again, I'm going to have to size up to an 18. So that's my advice, guys. If you order from ThreadUp, order a size larger than you normally would when you buy something new because people are shrinking their clothes. They're drying them in dryers, and that will shrink clothes. So that's my second-hand tip is order a size up from ThreadUp. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel love to have you as part of my youtube and facebook family and hey i will give you maybe an update on the litter scoop if it worked out or not this you know i might say something in one of my future upcoming videos briefly about it and this black dress pants search continues um looking at the calendar i ordered the pants from amazon last night so as soon as i receive them next wednesday or thursday around that time 
I will show them to you guys and we'll have some fun trying on more pants. I just have needed one good pair, one more good pair of work pants. I have a pair, but my other pair, I had two actually, one of them no longer fit because I lost too much weight. It was given to me by a friend. It was secondhand, but, um, my other pants are starting to get too big too. So maybe I'm on the search for maybe more than one pair. We'll see. At least want one good pair for now. Because that's all I can really afford. Um, my makeup's itching today. I'm wearing that Burt's Bees foundation. And maybe it's because I had hand sanitizer on. Had a little bit of hand sanitizer on. Um, thanks for hanging in there with me. Again, appreciate a like on my video. And subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell. Stay healthy. Stay blessed. Most importantly, stay you. And I will see you in my next video. You guys take care. And let's make 2022 a great year. The best year ever. Bye for now.